Hey folks, Standing Ovation here again with another video. This one's not a break, it's mail time. Uh, as you probably figured from the title of the video, I got a bunch of mail that's been coming in. I'm not buying every day. I certainly don't have that kind of money, but in the hobby, I do have to actually uh, change my inventory from time to time. So I pursue stuff. And uh, some of the purchases I've made along the way are off eBay, some are off of Facebook groups, some I've, I've just... Uh, I spotted at a show, uh, but all the mail that's been coming in, instead of making it all and saving it all for one video, because I can't hold on to it, I have to open it. Um, I've, I've, I've did those videos, and then I'm going to squish, squish them, you know, what do you call it? I edit them all together into a video here, and this is that video. So here's my, uh, I think my fifth fail mail video. I'm not sure. Uh, I've put the backdrop along with one of my um, favorite mails I've ever opened, which was from another one. So you got to check out all my other mail videos, and because they're almost as fun sometimes as the breaking videos, but at least for me. Um, so in the meantime, yeah, what's happened here is I'm going to start with some fun. I'll put in all the other videos, and then I'm going to end uh, back in this time zone frame that I'm in because I have a little sad ending. Uh, if you've been watching my videos you know you may have seen i had a bit of an incident with uh, some damaged mail and items i shipped so i'm just going to put that at the end just to show something came back to me which is not always the most fun mail to get but i'll put that at the end so you don't have to watch it or you can skip right to the end i don't don't skip to the end though you, you miss all the juicy pieces in the middle and I don't know, this may go on for a bit long because as much as my editing skills are, are, they're not right up to par yet and I still haven't figured out how to chop it up and make it shorter and, and condense it into a more suitable amount of time if people don't have, you know, an hour a day to watch my videos, which, holy cow. Well, they don't go that long. Sometimes I yammer on and they get up there. But anyway, let's do this. I got one that I'm really kind of looking forward to opening to because it came from Panini's Redemption people. I haven't been a big... Uh, panini supporter for many years but i did have a couple of redemptions from uh, online and then i got some card replacements so i'm not sure if these are, this is a replaced card or a redemption i have a feeling this is um listen to that oh, sorry headphones here i think this is an actual redemption that's come in because i checked my ticket status and they claim they haven't even received one of those cards yet which yeah panini i got a box Cool, I had an envelope, now I got a box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I'll pull this aside, because that's the ending part. That's the sad story one. Leave that for later. Uh, let's fix my Gordy, my Bobby, and my scary Mantana. And Josh Hoyle, eat your heart out, Ziri. Uh, the standing O, see, there he is, standing O. Uh, and Patrick Marlowe, one of my favorite Maple Leafs. It was only there for a very short time. Oh, here we go. Got a package, got a box. It's like that. What's inside? Is it another box? There's a package. Oh, it says Panini. There's a sticker on there. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure I know what this is. This came out of a video from a couple weeks back. Uh, Panini Contenders. Certified Rookie Autograph. But I think it's numbered at a 50. Ba-bam. Kenny Pickett. Rookie of the Year Auto. Look at that one. That's a neat card. Hard sign card. Yes, it is. It's uh, the Prism version. This is just the base version, which is numbered at a 50. I guess there's parallels numbered to 25, 10, 15, 9, 3, 2, 9. I don't know. There are all kinds of parallels of this, different colors. But this is the base. And this is, this was the box hit. The case hit, maybe? I don't know. But as a football fan, uh, not, like I say, first is hockey for me, to be honest. Then baseball. Then football. Um, but again, I was in the Southern Ontario region region for many many years and actually the first nfl game i can remember was franco harris and the dallas cowboys in the 70s um i remember that super bowl way back when i didn't watch the game but i remember it all happening because everybody around me was watching i was a little skier and was up at a ski hill and that game was on anyway that's a long long time ago so there's kenny pickett the rookie of the year numbered six of 50 what number is kenny i don't know see i'm not that smart enough to know what number he wears i mean that's a low number it could be a quarterback number I'll have to check it out. Imagine that was jersey numbered. Okay, well, that one can go up there. You know, one of these things is not like the other because all my hockey cards and then one big old football card. All right, well, that's a good way to start it. It's not going to be the best way to end it, so I'll uh, leave you here, and uh, I don't know how back in time this goes, and it might be like the beginning of another video that I, whatever, it's, it's going to be a really crude edit, but here it is. as it happens and uh, this just came in today's mail it's Friday at the end of the week and uh, yeah I've already opened it up just to see that I know what's inside and, and uh, thanks to Ryan who hooked me up through the, the 
Facebook group that I was in. And I got this deal. So this is a one purchase deal. Actually, it was a little different when I first saw the deal. And it changed a little bit as time went on. But it's still, it was, I thought it was a good enough deal to pick up. It's a, one of those bulk deals. Like, a little bit of everything in here. Mostly for resale. So, as I say, if you like what you see here, tap that like button. Check me out on eBay. Subscribe to this channel, and uh, I break all kinds of sports, mostly hockey. I'm a hockey guy. Anyway, I've probably said that enough, and who knows how many items are in this mail video. I just thought, like I say, instead of piling it all up, and I do it as it comes in, and now that I'm getting better at my editing, I can compile these videos into one video and post it at some point down the road. When that is, I don't know. But I'm expecting some more stuff to arrive this week. Actually, I was expecting some stuff to arrive last week, too. <clears throat> but one of my... One of my vendors, purchase guys I bought from, I don't know, he didn't send pictures of the item being shipped, he didn't send tracking, and it's been two weeks, and I still haven't got those items. There's only two cards. It wasn't a big purchase, but hopefully I hear back from him, because he did say he'd refund me if I hadn't got anything by the end of the week, but I haven't heard back from him. So, anyway, sometimes things go poorly, and hopefully this one will turn out. Hopefully the cards will show up, because I don't want my money back. I want the two cards I bought. Anyway, that was a bad deal. Let's make this one... Well, this is a good deal. I thought it was. It should be fun. As I say, and I'm just going to leave it like that, piled up the way it came out. Here we go. Out of the new SBA, I've got a JJ Paterka Retro. That'll go with my regular. And, yeah, I won't have the Ukul Pekin Alukin in, though. Not today. That was one of the cards I was waiting for, for for a while now. But, anyway, let's just forget about that. Here we go. French. Jean-Luc. Jake Sanderson. There was enough uh, in this lot of good little cards that I thought, you know, no real, uh, well, a couple of that really caught my eye, but I just thought this would be good for resale, even if I only break even or don't make a whole lot. It's, uh, it's, it's stuff that other people wanted. This is the one that caught my eye. You don't see his autograph as much as he used to. Actually, you didn't ever see it a whole lot to begin with. There's number one of ten. Fopa. Let's get this light out of the way. Again, I'm an older fart, so I watch this guy as a rookie. I watch this guy play and play his heart out. And then, unfortunately, his body wouldn't let him go. And that happens. Some of the greats, Bobby Orr, and Ken Dryden, Peter Forsberg. That's a nice one. Black Auto. I, I haven't done very well ripping this stuff this year. I did okay out of the SP Authentic. Then again, I ripped a whole lot more of that. I have four boxes out of the SP Signature Legends I did not fare as well. Okay, well here we go. This guy's the new, the new guy, right? Another another uh, popular player. I think anybody who plays hockey in the NHL that comes from Newfoundland just has extra love because everybody loves the Newfies. I'm out here on the West Coast, and you know, if you're from BC, nobody cares. Or Newfoundland. Hey, from the Rock. Hey, here you go. Anyway, Young Guns of Dawson Mercer, very popular player. And to go with that, Her 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 Carolina, Carolina. These guys having a great playoffs. Just watch the epic game that they lost in the seventh period, or the you could call it in game three that they were playing in the first game. It went quadruple overtime. And hats off to Matty to Chuck who scored. But anyway, there's Vashnikov, numbered out of 49. What year is this one? 22, 23, current year. Artifacts, signs of success. And I haven't pulled any of those. I didn't open a lot of this year's artifacts. Wonder one or two boxes. I think that might be from this year's artifacts too. Unredeemed. That guy. Will he be, uh, actually it's good to, you never know, he might be in the, I don't want to say Arizona, wherever that team's going to end up, but if they weren't, weren't in Arizona, would he actually want to go there? I don't know. But he fell in love with watching the Coyotes apparently with hockey when he was a kid and now he's on his last year of his contract coming up and the Leafs just got rid of Kyle Dubas, and Kyle Dubas and Austin Matthews were best buds, and now who knows? Who knows where the future is with Maple Leafs again? Speaking of Maple Leafs, there's a good one. The hot dog man. Phil, let's just remove this now, because the frog is taped and done his job. The cup. This is enshrinements from, what, 1819? Uh, what year is that one? Can't read it. 2010. Okay, I'm nowhere near. 2010 and 11. Yeah, what did I say? 1819. Well, then again, they make cards of guys in their 
teams after they've been traded and he's still current so I should have thought about that I mean he's still active they wouldn't have made a old school card of him yet cool Phil Kessel one of my favorites the Iron Man another cup card this guy was supposed to be the next best thing in Ottawa but injuries just I think it was concussions that eventually ended it for him but a nice little numbered hit of Bobby Ryan an American talent from Cherry Hill New Jersey 1617 the cup like I say there's a good variety of a little bit of everything in this lot there's one more cup and I just got one of these out of uh, a box I ripped you got to check out my other videos and that's, I think it was the third box of the cup I don't want to spoil the break but and I just piled that card up over here somewhere moved it out of the way and where is it where is it hold on there we go it's my whoops my pew shooter now I can go pew 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 okay that's kind of silly but numbered out of 35 I got the rookie auto of this year's cup 2021 that's cool I don't know if he, I'm sure he has an RPA as well, but this isn't the RPA. This is the fake patch of the tomahawk chop thing that they got going there, and that's numbered at a 75, I think. Anyway, I just pulled that card, so it's kind of neat. I got two pews. Okay, the man of the hour. That guy. Wrong jersey. But, man, is he popular right now. Yeah, he's still got that thing in his mouth. What are you doing in there? A little bit scratched on the surface, so... I don't know, this new eBay authenticity guarantee I've read if you sell cards for over 250 You know, if I didn't tell you there were scratches on that, which are, I mean, they're almost impossible to see, but if you look at it under the light, under the right way, you can see little scratches. Apparently, that could get the sale rejected. The card would get sent back to me. You'd get your money back. And again, on, on sales over 250 now, apparently eBay's new policy is authenticity guarantee. I don't like it. I've been on eBay since 1999. I've never needed a third party to guarantee my shipments. Everybody's been happy with my business. I've done well without authenticity guarantee. I don't like the fact that somebody else is going to be touching my card or your card if you're buying it off me on eBay. I like to just send it to you directly through the Canada Post or USPS or FedEx. Only in one instance in 22 years on eBay have I had one item that I was refunded because of it insured it was damaged. And that's only just recently happened. So eBay, stay out of our transactions. I don't want your stupid authenticity guarantee. I don't care about what you're trying to do. It's a bad idea. Okay. And now I've said that. Here's my first. Not my first. This is my second inscribed. Maybe my third. Actually, I got one on the... I'm lying because I have one on my eBay store of Kerfoot. In, uh, it's a Pop 2 card, actually, too. So I should be more aware of what I have in stock. But there's Hoffer. Hofer. He's a real Hall of Famer potential. If not, he's got the name for it. And I really don't know the, what to expect out here. I've heard a lot of people collect this guy, but I don't know if it's just based on his game so far, or if he's really got potential in the future. Like I say, if you're a Hoffer fan or a Joel Hofer, I'm not even sure I'm saying it right, let me know down below that he's he's amazing, he's got game, or whatever. Ouch. Let's go down. Now yeah, look over here. Why don't I just go... There we go. I don't know if I needed that sound effect, but it was kind of fun. Okay, Willie Carlson, he's having playoffs. Actually, I've, I've caught, this guy's caught my eye more than once, and that's why I think he's uh, he's worthy of collecting. And you'll see in a moment, because I might have another video making after this tomorrow or the next day. Whenever the package arrives, I'm expecting some more of him in the mail in the near future. Willie! Beauty exclusive, tough to pull. Current year, McAvoy. I actually hit one high gloss this year out of upper deck series two high high well it was yeah it was a series two high gloss again check out my videos you'll see that in there somewhere okay i'm running out of space here i'm gonna have to go up look way up or i'm gonna have to pile it up i gotta get a bigger studio i need a bigger youtube studio i need a bigger kung fu studio gi joe in the kung fu studio everybody had one of those when they're kid nobody nobody plays gi joes anymore i'm so old whoops Got Mo Marit Cedar, UD um, Upper Deck Extended. Check out my other videos, folks. If this video is placed in the right order, there's still a giveaway going because I, 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 I either am giving away or I gave away a box of 2122 Extended. And uh, yeah, you got to subscribe and check out the video.
if like I say, if the if, if the contest is still on, I'll put the link down below there. Brandon Duheim, du, Duhami, Duheim, Duheim, Brandon Duheim, UD Acetate 2122. Again, this is from Series Two. Series Two boxes are getting blown out of this right now. I can seen boxes for 100 bucks Canadian lately. So check out Series Two last year. There's a lot of good stuff in it, and it's getting blown out. Okay, three to go, and they're graded. Number one, uh, not that this is super valuable or has any great need. I don't have any buyers for it right now, but Panarin is, a, is, a, is like I say, probably the most overlooked player from 1516 because of a certain other guy. But I don't know. I think, like I say, the Rangers got a lot of years left in him. Anyway, he's from that crappy part of the world, though. But yeah, it's a PSA 10, and like, well, PSA is maybe getting dogged on these days for the reputation, but a 10's a 10. 10. It's a 10. Okay, and the second one is not a 10. It's a 9. I got a 9er. Uh, I got a 9er. Number 9. Number 9. But this guy's a senator, no longer a hawk. And now that uh, Ryan Reynolds is no longer buying the Senator. I, I don't know who's going to get the Senators, but I see their future has some, having some potential. they got a lot of young talent, and uh, yeah, I guess maybe it's because I was from Ontario, and I know they, uh, compared to on t the other two teams in that area, Montreal and Toronto, Ottawa's like not even there, but I like them. I've always been a Senators fan. I had a jersey right from day one, and I thought Dag was going to be the next best thing, and boy, was I wrong with everybody else. <laughs> Alexander Dag. Last card in this purchase, which was the kind of the best card in the purchase. He's cooled off a little bit since the hype was real, but it still is. This guy's going to be a superstar. Again, not from the not from a uh, part of the world that I really respect right now, but I like his game, and you can't blame a guy from where he, because of where he was born. But gosh, yeah. There you go. PSA 10, Cappy. Superstar! And, of course, that will end up in my store eventually. Check out all my items, though, if you haven't already. Take the time when you're not on eBay next time. Check me out, Standing Ovation. I try to keep a good mix of good variety of everything. As you can see, I do what I can to pick it up and keep it current and move it along. So thanks for watching, folks, and check out my next... I'm going to probably have another video smash right into this one. So we'll blend in all these mail videos together. Mm couple more pieces of mail here. Let's see what's inside. Actually, let's do a small one first. I'm actually expecting one that's a little bit slow in coming. Hopefully this is it. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got a little cover card of Josh Donaldson. Spencer Knight die cut. But it's a future watch Swayman. And that's not the one I was waiting for. Although I was waiting for this too, but there's one that uh, coming from Quebec. I'm afraid it's not coming, buddy. So if you watch my videos, dude, I'm going to have to call for a refund. You said you'd give me one, and it hasn't showed up. So let's see what happens when you buy stuff online. Sometimes, I don't know. The guy didn't send me any pictures of it being sent, and he didn't send me any tracking. So I can only assume they're not coming. All right, let's see what's in this package. I know this isn't it. I know this one, isn't it? Another graded card to go to the collection, and this one's timed just right because I couldn't say no to the opportunity. Like I say, I like to pick up guys before they get super popular, and I have a feeling this guy after the playoffs will have a lot more fans. Anyway, there's a Rupe Hints, PGA, PSA 10. No guns. Anyway, more mail coming in. And what do we got in this one? eBay purchase, or was this Facebook? This was eBay. Got a little bit of a little bit of both. I actually won an auction, and then I checked if the guy's other items, and he had some good stuff. But who doesn't need a PSA 10 Justin Herbert rookie? Let's get it out of there. I like the football. And the Chargers. Got a good guy here. Justin Herbert. Hopefully see good numbers out of him. Again, lower end rookie, but still. PSA 10 out of Panini Absolute. But, of course, hockey's my main thing, and of course, the time of year is playoff season. 
And we got Young Guns Canvas, Willie Carlson. And a and a and a regular Young Guns. Series one and both of them series one, both first card and set. So I guess he was respected, or is that just because Anaheim starts off the uh, checklist? I don't know, but uh, there you go. Golden Knights. Looks like it's going to be Golden Knights and the Panthers. Who's going to win? Who knows? Could be, uh, I don't know, Florida looks strong. That's the thing. Florida looks real strong. With the experience of uh, Golden Knights. They may be the guys. All right. Well, I have a little bit more mail to do, but uh, I think that's all I'm expecting this week. Maybe one more piece. We'll, we'll see. Uh, and this one's going to be fun because this came directly, directly from Penny. And I think it is a sparkle pack because I asked for a replacement for a redemption card that I had been waiting for for, oh, since I was a young boy. Actually, no, like for two years. But instead, I didn't get the Rui Hachimura or a rookie card autograph. I got a sparkle pack. It's a sparkle pack. Ooh, sparkle pack. Uh, 2022 NFL trading card. So it's kind of funny. You get a basketball card replaced with a football pack. But there you go. So that's what could happen. You'll have to check out my shorts videos because I'm going to open this on the shorts videos. All right, I think I got one more piece of mail. But who knows? Maybe the video will just end like right now. Okay, now I'm back after all those videos. That was a lot of fun opening all those packages. And thanks to everybody who sent those to me and the deals that went down. There was one deal, I must say. Sometimes things don't go the way you want when you're buying stuff online. Um, I had one deal that I, I again, in, in Canada, we can send EMTs to each other, which is something you're legally, I think, not allowed to do in the States yet through the banks. But it's an electronic money transfer, EMT. And instead of PayPal, a lot of transactions are done that way because it's quick, it's fast, it's instant. The one downside of an EMT is it's not reversible. So... You know, if you if you if you trust people well enough, it's a great way to sending money. Um, there's no fees involved, so as I say, it's it's one of the best ways to pay. But if there's a problem, or if say the other person on the other end isn't as, um, you know, maybe there's there's a little bit of deviance involved in it. There, it's there's a easy opportunity to just take the money because you can't reverse an EMT. Um, and in many cases, I'd say, I'd say 95% of my transactions have gone well. There was a couple now that have not. And in one case, uh, I did get contact eventually from the other end, but it wasn't the guy who sold me the cards. It was somebody who took over his account after the guy entered it. The story went a drug treatment program, but whatever. It was 150 bucks I purchased and I never got the cards. But, you know, you live and learn. So and that guy even had vouchers online. So as far as vouchers go, they really don't mean anything because everybody that vouched for him, nobody paid you know nobody paid anybody back because i wasn't the only one that was scammed in that instance but anyway that was a while ago and i learned my lesson there um and with a little trepidation you do a little deals but you can do a little research check out people's histories and generally if you feel confident enough i'd say i still i'll, I'll, I'll reluctantly I'll, you know i don't know i i'm still a little on the edge about sending the emts but in smaller transactions what the heck i bought a card for a 100 bucks actually it was two cards they never showed up and the guy never sent me tracking. He never sent me any photos of the package. So I don't know if it was ever really sent. But I, I trust the guy because he did have quite a history of selling on the group I was in. Anyway, uh, through communication and not getting all aggressive and nasty with each other, we, um, he refunded me. So it's as simple as that. If deals don't go bad and, the, you know, your dealer generally, your, your vendor will, will return your money, which is what happened when those cards didn't show up. Anyway, the last one that came in, the most recent one, actually, this is the second most recent one that came in. I knew it was coming because the second the guy bought it, I bought it off me on eBay. He was excited to get it, and he got it and was pleased to tell me he got it and how well it was packaged. But unfortunately, as good as I packaged it up, the card came in with a hole right through the label that went through the packaging that I put it on uh, between the bubble wrap that I put between the packaging and... There goes my camera. There goes the world. Oh my gosh. See, I really do got to invest in a better tripod. Um, this package, the hole went through right, right that, of course. All in all, the card came back. It was this lovely Gretzky. And look, there's the there's the damage on the thing. And When the guy got the card, I wasn't around. So he was sending me emails right away and explaining the process. He sent me a number of them as the stages of opening the package. He really wanted to keep the card. The last thing he did was he took it out of the, the holder here to see if the card was damaged. And sadly, it is. So at that point, he asked for the refund. This guy was so awesome. He, he was willing to hold on to the card, even the damaged case, all that, 
until he realized that the card is damaged. Now, if you look, this Gretzky autograph is still a very nice red ink autograph from Clearcut, but there is now a flaw. It's really hard to see without the reflecting when you want. When you want it to reflect, it never does. You can see the card is damaged. So fortunately, I sent this fully insured, which again, I strongly suggest and people who haven't sold on eBay before, uh, through printing their labels or printing online labels, a lot of people opt not to pay for the shipping insurance because it's expensive. I'll be honest, this was sent to the States. I think it was about $40 Canadian to send this fully insured. But the difference between sending it for $20 and $40, I mean, it was kind of a no-brainer. And thank goodness I did because it didn't get there. Um, now, the process on eBay is he immediately opened a claim up eBay puts an investigation out, but they contacted me. They told me what was going on, and so did he. The guy sent pictures. I mean, it was pretty legit. Right off the bat, I knew he had a problem. So I, um, his now his the procedure is I have to send him money to send that shipment back to me, which I didn't, and because um, I couldn't. He was in the states. I have no way of actually getting him the money. But through our communication, again, effective communication is always the key. He um, he sent it back. And on his dime. Well, I thought he did. Because <laughs> it came back with a customs ticket. So for me to pick it up, I had to spend... Where is it? Where's the customs? Whoops, I don't want to rip it. But I ripped it. I have to hide it. My uh, personal information up there. It cost me $138 more to pick this up. So as well as the transaction fees getting reversed and me being out the money. And I don't mind saying, that card sold for $800 Canadian. So I paid out of my own pocket. It was, I paid for the shipping. So it was 800 to ship it to him, minus the eBay fees. It was net my pocket, about $683. That's what eBay's cut is. So I netted about 683 out of that. I then paid the $40 to ship it to him. So it was about 643 is what was netted into my pocket from this. And so, again, all that money was refunded. eBay takes the refund out of what I get. And they, they, so they refunded me the fees of the sale. Uh, but I still had to send him the $800 back of that money. Um, I got 130 whatever. The, the, the eBay fees have already been reimbursed. I've now opened a claim with Canada Post to get the difference. And I've also added on this customs fee. And then I don't know how long the process is because in 20 odd years plus on eBay, I've never had this happen. I've never had a claim through Canada Post before, but it's all been done over the phone so far. They've assured me they're going to send me more information. They're doing an investigation. They've opened up a ticket. But they've taken all the information from me over the phone. We'll see where it goes. I'll follow up with another video and explain what and when it happened, how I got my money back, if I got my money back, if I got the full amount back, did I get the customs duties back? Because I still wonder about getting customs applied to a shipment that I originated. The item came from the States, but I sold it from Canada back to an American. Can he shipped it back for a refund to me? And then I got dinged with $140 in duties? I don't know. Whatever. So it's a little bit of a sad ending to the mail video today. Um, I'd be watching on eBay because I don't know when I'm going to list all of this or how this is going to get relaunched because I, I won't sell this until the claim is actually adjusted, settled, or I'm out the money for sure. Or if I get the money back, then that'll have some factor on how much this goes for. Because you can see it's not that damaged. I mean, it's damaged. It's got a little bit of a mark down there, but it's no longer mint fresh packed in. So I don't know how that would grade if you sent it in with the damage on it but it's worth something still so we'll see i'll have to get a new holder because yeah that's pretty much that so anyway thanks for watching folks thanks for all the subscribers i can't believe it i'm like if i haven't hit a thousand yet i'm like i, I got a hundred subscribers in like a week there it was like quite a rush over the memorial day weekend and i thanks to everybody who subscribed thanks for everybody who's watching and supporting the channel i really appreciate it it really does uh, this is what i do for a living so as much as it might look like i'm just goofing around and having fun um this is the fun part opening the cards and, and doing all that but there's a lot on the back end of this selling them some shipping them and that i that i do full time now as my uh Again, one day I'll do a video explaining that if, I, if you watched all my videos, I've already kind of put the little story behind me and where how I got to doing cards. And maybe that'll come up in another video. But that, you know, you don't need the life story of a breaker. I'm just some dude breaking cards, I'm trying to provide a little bit of an entertain, entertainment. And I'm having a lot of fun in the meantime. So thanks for watching, folks. Keep on collecting. Standing ovation. Oh.